Right, can you remember before Christmas I come up here to do with me solar bear challenges at this sign? 1719 quite high and Derbyshire, here we come! Hey, well, it's a long time since I've followed this fully round and down, but we go. Hey, <laughs> left road, right road. <laughs> this is really better suited to 11 than this. This is okay, but you want to keep your speed down on it, though. Do you know these marker poles? You know what they're for? They're for when it snows! <laughs> well, I don't remember this one cycling up here. Well then, see, nice, can't beat it. Wave at people. <laughs> if you're from this neck at Woods or this side of Yorkshire, you'll know where I'm heading. I'm heading to Wood Woodhead Pass, down towards Glossop. Nice little run for. Well, I'm only out for morning, that's all I can do. Mother's Day, ain't it? So, here we go. Ho oh, oh. ho! This road, what I'm about to jump on towards Manchester to Sheffield. Hey! I'm not doing all either of them today, I'm just on it for a couple of minutes to get to Woodhead Pass. Yep. <laughs> Guess it's someone didn't stop in time for that. Sonny <laughs> thing can spoil it though, aren't they? Hey, this is where we're turning off. Woodhead Pass! <laughs> Oh, that's the old Woodhead Pass railway line. Or part of it. Oh, calm down, wet roads. This is nice out here, I'll say that. Nice little area. Oh, I wonder how many times I've done this road. But on the other end, I bet it's over 10 years since. Oh, I bet it is about it's over 10 years since I've been on here. Hey! Alright, oh, we're crossing it now. That was it, the Woodhead Pass. Horsey horsey! Mmm, <laughs> here lad. Lovely up here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, a bit light on back in then. Now yeah, back to that. Bikes! I've had all sorts. Oh, I'm trying to think of uh, one of the most memorable bikes, I suppose. LCs, I've had a couple of those. Um, well, up to my 11 now, that was the longest ever bike I'd ever had. I've my last LC for over 10 years. Still an LC hooligan at heart, love two strokes. Can't beat them, no matter what anyone says. You can't beat a decent two stroke. Coming on, whack! Brilliant. It's a shame legislation's trying to kill them off. I, I love my LC. But like I say, time had come, I needed a change. And believe it or not, I swapped it for a little 125 Enduro. And first time I rode it, I thought, oh no, what have I done? I'm trying to run it in and there's just no power at all on it. Little 12 brake horse, 125. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> so, I got it run, running. I put full pipe on it, it sounded like a... I got a bee stuck in a baked bean tin, but it sounded and went quite well. And like I said, I only had it, well, probably less, about 12 months that mains went on crank, so prime opportunity to do a bit of playing. <laughs> and after that, it became quite a res respectable little bike. Um, I don't know, I just wanted some a bit more. So I thought my other choice at that time, it had to be the R350. Um, I, I, just, I just wanted something easy to ride, something to plod on. And I'd gone the wrong way with 125, it was too far, too severe. So that's when I chopped in for the DR. And my 125 was quicker than what my DR was. I 
apart from the air, that torque where you could hold a, a low gear, I mean a, a high gear at a low rev where you just couldn't do that on 125. Even though 125 had power valve on it, it just didn't have the bottom end. And two up it were, it were, <laughs> it were embarrassing. But one up, when you got it on song, it sang and did it. But like I said, draw back, I should have put 17 inch wheels on it. But like I say, one of those things you never do, do you? And then when I got my 350, right, I'm at gloss up now. Just about to jump on Snake Pass. Well, I didn't want Snake Pass. Well, like I said, I mean, I got 350 in what, April 99. So I've had it a few years now. So going strong. A couple of years ago when I bought this, so we uh, were umming and ahhing about park exchanging it and I thought, no, I'll keep it. Smart paint for it, didn't do any harm. And that's what I did. <laughs> and I must admit, I'm glad I have, because the 350, yeah, it's a good bike. It doesn't accelerate anything like what this does. But, as a commuter bike, it's far superior to this because the way it delivers its power, it's so sedate. And you can ride off bottom end at motor a cart with this. And like I say, I mean, for the, the trails that I do, the 350 is far better. Because the way it delivers its power, this, it's hunting, it's wanting you to go. And when I'm afraid, I just want to plod. That's all I want to do is just plod. <laughs> 